Alright, what is going on guys? Fubbles back again coming at you with the news and uh, I, as of right now, uh, we'll go into the stats and skills in a bit, but as of the, the recording right now, uh, we do not have the stats and skills, just we, just the, supposedly we do have the Speed Link Slap Potion character that's coming out. We do have Christmas Momo, which uh, honestly, I'm not going to lie, the art in this banner actually looks really good. Raruka looks amazing, by the way. A Momo looks really good. Like the the quality of the art is clean as hell. Like you can zoom in, right? Like stupid amounts. Uh, look, and you'll see like the the entire like art. Like I'm at 300%, and it's still very clear on who the character is and everything. So like, I'm not gonna lie, the the quality of the art is really, really, really good. Now I'm currently refreshing the pages, waiting to see if we can get the um end of the month stats and I mean the mid month stats and skills we know that it's Christmas like I don't think that should be anyone's to anyone's surprise I'm really disappointed that we're getting two like three female characters again I was really hoping that we can get male characters at least once ever that'd be nice <clears throat> so Raruka is getting range collision on her first strong attack 18 mag, um, 800 AOE. Just wait for them to post it. All right, boom, boom. Okay, so going into the actual uh, banner, we do have Raruka, Rangiku, and Momo. After that, we have Nell, Soifon, and Nanao from last year. And the filler characters that aren't seasonals, we're gonna get um, Hachigan, Kiona Sentaro, Waidichigo, Yoroichi. The Okiora is nice, but like, ah, oh, this banner is really bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this banner is pretty bad. If if I wasn't missing Nell or Nanao, maybe I would go like further. But like, I think that right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go. I think I'm gonna just do five steps. I don't even think I'm gonna do s the sixth one, to be honest. Uh, going into the actual stuff, you see here. Link slot potions. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so Momo is a melee strong attack character with the Soul Reaper Killer ability. All of her attacks have a chance to inflict lacerate. Combined with her frenzy and two second debilitator skills, this makes her capable of easily lacerating enemies. She can also unlock damage to lacerated enemies plus 40%. Unlock damage to lacerated enemies. That's actually really good, which greatly increases the damage she does to lacerated enemies. Rounding out her skill set is the new increased power link slot potion skill. This skill only active during inheritance zones, but it increases the number of power link slot potions she acquires by plus five, making her a very useful character for farming. Now, this is really important because her kit is the uh, lunge for strong attack. The Aron Yero, the Camp Fear on World Aron Yero pull in vacuum into AoE. Same thing as Christmas Soifon, if you're familiar with her. And then her third strong attack is going to be, and then it's just a standard uh, full screen third strong attack. Now, I don't know if she has Havoc 20%. All right. So, Riddler is currently putting the post together for the Reddit, which comes with the attack, with the attacks of these characters, which is probably going to be the most important thing on depending on whether or not these characters are really good, etc. But until then, we do at the very least have the stats and skills. We'll get the actual um, attacks of these characters in a bit. Now, going into Raruka, I hear that she's the one that got shafted with a range collision first strong attack, um, 800 radius AoE and a full screen third strong attack so keep that in mind it looks like she's actually not getting havoc 20 percent which is kind of unfortunate uh raruka pokes a snow globe causing immense damage and inflicting freeze strong attack recharge enhanced link which sounds pretty good uh she is a mind unit so we're getting another Strong attack recharge 14 for mine. That's pretty nice. 802 spiritual pressure within hollow killer. Increased status ailment against heart attribute hollows. So she's going to have disabler. She does have freeze maybe on all of attacks. Uh, we'll, we'll see that in a bit. Bruiser plus 20%. Berserker 20%. Debilitator plus 5 seconds. Devastation 40%. Frenzy sprinter plus 1. I'm not going to lie. Just seeing this kind of... Uh, I'm I'm not really liking it. If, with a range collision for a strong attack, she's going to be able to get the hits off. So if she does have 
Attribute advantage and killer advantage, they're probably dead, but at the very least, she'll probably proc her freeze. The 800 second strong attack, the 800 AoE circle in front is still a really good strong attack, even without Havoc 20%, but she didn't get like Berserker 40%, nothing to push the boundaries. I honestly believe that if you want these characters, you want them mainly because they're cute. Like, the, the art on this banner, in my opinion, is really, 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 really nice, but aside from that, I would honestly skip this banner. Um, I have looked through all of them just to see if any of them had Havoc 20%. Literally not a single one. Alright, so honestly, it's kind of unfortunate. Of course, as they start rotating stuff out, we finally got an Aspada Killer for green. 798 Spiritual Pressure, Special Feast, I like to feast on something. Uh, inflicts Paralysis, Strong Attack Recharge, minus 12%. B Bruiser 20%, Berserker 20%. Frenzy, Devastation, plus 40%. Damage to Paralyzed Enemies, plus 20%. That, with her ultimate, is going to be pretty nice. The Weakened Defense is really good, too. Debilitator, plus 5 seconds as well. Sprinter, plus 1. So, I mean, she's going to inflict Paralysis with her ultimate. I don't know if she's going to uh, inflict Paralysis with her uh, regular attacks either. But the Berserker, 20%. The Damage to Paralyzed Enemies is pretty nice. I wish... <laughs> I wish that she got Disabler. Like, instead of Bruiser plus 20%, to be honest, I feel like that would have made her so much better. Um, it says here that Rangoku conjure, conjures a feast with her ribbon that heals all team members, so she's going to be able to heal her team too, uh, just like Apache does on her ultimate. Um, and uh, yeah, so it looks like Rangoku is going to be just the Espada Killer. Uh, I don't really place too much um, value on Espada Killers anymore, because even, like, it, it's only really that good for Guild Cut. I like how everyone put G. G Q H O E. Shout out to my Discord, by the way. If y'all want to join, feel free. Link will be down below. I'm 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 so torn on what I want to do with this banner because like you have Momo with the Link Slot Potion skill, but it's like I feel like I'd rather wait for Momo's individual. So, a uh, speed Soul Reaper Killer. She does have a uh, lacerate on all of her attacks, as they said before. She does have the increased power Link Slot Potions plus five. No Havoc 20%, but she does have. The Debilitator plus 2 seconds, damage to Lacerated Enemies plus 40%, Bruiser plus 20%, Berserker 20%, Frenzy Devastation 40%. She's going to hit hard. Like, all these characters do have the Berserker 20% as well as Strong Attack Recharge, which means that they're going to hit hard, but, like, my issue is that since none of them got Havoc 20%, I'm sorry, but none of these characters are going to be, like, super broken, right? Uh, going into the actual banners for these characters, you have... Um, Christmas Yoroichi over here with Momo as well as Rukia, Jushiro, and Tesla. Very good banner. Tesla is obviously Duki, but like the full stamina damage boost 25, not a bad link. Rukia is a SAR 14 link as well as one of the better characters that came out last year. Uh, on top of that, you have Rangaku's banner with Christmas uh, Retsu, and then you have Imindi Sane, Weaken, and Lupi. But I'm not gonna lie, very good value banners, uh, excuse me, value fillers. Except for like the last one, so you have Loopy and Tesla, which are trash. And here you have, honestly, I don't really find any of these characters trash. I, I don't particularly like the Nemu. I'm sorry, my boy Swig. I love you, bro. But like, I'm sorry, this Nemu is not really OP unless you have multiple dupes into her. Uh, Toshiro, Tensa, Lisa, and Raruka. Not a bad banner, but um, still a mood. Uh, yeah, so let's just see what, what we're at. Um, let me just wait for Riddler. Ah, there we go. Shout out to my boy Riddler. As always, my boy is coming in clutch. All right, here we go. Raruka is going to be, looks like a range character. Mags 100, 120 projectile with meaning that she is a range character just in general. Uh, going into the first strong attack, you'll see here that it is a projectile with 18% magnifications. 800 projectile, uh, I mean 2k projectile speed is not too bad. Um, the projectile time is 800. I, I, I don't know exactly what that means, I'm not gonna lie. A uh, distant AoE 800 radius, so this is the 800 circular AoE in front of you. And then third strong attack is gonna be a standard full screen third strong attack. One thing to note is that she actually does uh, hit, one she does hit hard, but she doesn't have like the crazy range like a lot of these newer characters get. Like, I do feel like if you really need a mind character, you're probably better off just waiting for Noelle to come back, because she does play as, like, a melee slash range character. Uh, and on top of that, I don't think that this Raruka really pushes any boundaries in terms of meta change. <clears throat> at all. <laughs> like, at all, unfortunately. Going into Rangaku, she is going to be the Espada Killer. She does have very, very nice art. I, I feel like they, they did a really good job with this banner. Uh, first strong attack is going to be the 2500 length beam. Paralysis. Oh, right, let me see. Does... Okay, so Veruka does have freeze on all of her attacks, 
Rangiku does have paralysis on all of her attacks. That's good. All right, so first strong attack is going to be the 2500 length beam. Second strong attack is going to be the circular AoE in front, the 800 radius, which is good. And then the third strong attack is going to be the split vortex distant AoE. This is going to be the same strong attack as Oriental Nell, the same second, uh, third strong attack as 5th um, anniversary Byakia. This is not a bad strong attack. It takes a while to come out, sure, but it's not bad. I, I don't think she got shafted in that regard. She's going to hit like a truck. Uh, and then going into Momo, the first strong attack is going to be a standard lunge. Second strong attack is going to be the split, uh, split vortex shockwave. That's going to be the vacuum pulls you in and explodes. Same as Camp for Your Own World and Soifun. Shout out to my boy. See, 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 that's what I love about Riddler. Riddler even realizes, like, he's like, okay, this is not really um, a common strong attack. Like, it actually is very rare, to be honest. Like, if you go into uh, something like Aronyero, and then you go into, like, the similarity... You'll see how the second strong attack is literally unique specifically to Aronyero, Soifan, and now uh, Momo. Uh, third strong attack is going to be a standard full screen third strong attack. It doesn't look like... I mean, she's going to be an SP based unit, but I don't feel like Momo is going to be the same as Desert Society Rukia. She has Lacerate instead of Weaken, which could be useful, I guess. I mean, like, you take out the insta-kill mechanics from the enemies, which is pretty nice if you use your ultimate. But, like, Rukia was so powerful in comparison to this it's wild because rookie doesn't have havoc 20 percent but like and i might just be biased toward towards rookie which is kind of funny to say but um overall very 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 good banner it, i don't think it's like pushing boundaries i don't think it's op i don't think it's really worth summoning for i'll make a should you summon i i do feel like people should go for the momo but i feel like people should just do like the first multi and then like wait for momo's individual momo's individual is going to be probably the best because the reality is there's still a lot of people like, if you go into bleach brave souls so if you go into bleach brave souls and you check co-op and you just click on random matching you'll see a bunch of people just like willing to carry right rukia or close mod join bet no ball strong players needed rukia only and occasionally you'll see like i will carry i will carry please let me carry you know what i'm saying rukia or strong 2000 plus stats 2000 plus stats wow unbelievable damage a strong bonus players needed uh, Rukia only so <clears throat> people put a lot of uh, desire when it comes to these uh, link slot potion characters only three Rukia I carry uh, yeah so <laughs> screw guard rig I'm dead but um, you, you get the idea I'm, I'm, I'm gonna quickly join this if I can if not then oh well yeah so I'm gonna leave it at that you guys grind on catch up and stay blessed let me know do you guys like plan to summon on this banner like what are your overall thoughts uh, I feel like this banner is very underwhelming considering it's like towards the end of the year. Keep in mind that we do have a Bankai live stream at the end of this year, which means that we're most likely going to get a Thousand Year Blood War banner. So keep that in mind as well. I say be very careful of spending your orbs, especially with the vote selection banner on the horizon. Whether that comes out this year, which I do expect it to come out after Christmas, I do expect it to come out within the next, um, I want to say two months. Like max two months by like from this date like i don't think they're gonna try to hold it for too long because uh the longer they take the less value the banner actually is but i'm gonna leave it at that you guys grind i'll catch up with me i'll say blessed i'll show the best luck your summons y'all be blessed day please be safe out there and i'll see y'all in the next one peace